An oil platform cannot be an oil platform without the most characteristic part, the oil derrick. In order to create it, we need a good plan to avoid spending countless hours building it. First, we can make a vertical prism with a square base. Then, we can use the shell tool to remove material, leaving a hollow prism. Next, we will sketch the beam structure on the outer faces. In the last step, we can use the sketches as cutting faces to remove excess material and create the truss. Let's create the oil derrick. Right-click the topmost component in the model tree and select New Component. Rename the new component as Oil Derrick. Hold Control and select the X and Z axes, then go to Sketch Mode. Sketch a construction line vertically, beginning at the center of the top face of the platform and make it 62 meters high. We'll use this later on. Reorient the sketch plane to the top face of the platform. Create a 20 by 20 meter square at the world origin. Return to 3D mode and hide the base platform. Pull the square profile up by 62 meters. Click the shell tool and select the top face of the tower. Enter a value of 0.5 meters, then click the bottom face to remove that as well, leaving a hollow prism. Click select to exit the shell tool, then select one of the vertical faces of the tower and create a sketch plane. Offset the sketch plane from the surface by a distance of 5 meters. Reorient the view to the plan view and press Z to zoom to the model extents. Activate the project to sketch tool and select the bottom edge of the tower. Press S on the keyboard to activate the select tool. Then duplicate the line using the move copy operation. Start the move tool and while holding the control key, Click and drag to move the line vertically upward by 5.7 meters. Zoom in to get a better view. Then click the line tool. Place the mouse cursor over the midpoint of the bottom line and using the shift key, place the starting point of the line at negative 9.5 meters in the X direction and 0.5 meters in the Z direction. Click to start drawing the line. Next, move the mouse cursor over the midpoint of the bottom line again and press the shift key. Then, place the endpoint at negative 0.5 meters in the x direction and 5.7 meters in the z direction. Create a similar line on the opposite side of the center. Sketch a vertical line on the left and right sides to form a triangle. Using the Offset Curve tool, create a duplicate of each hypotenuse and move it 0.5 meters down toward the base. Click the Create Corner tool and close the gap at the top between the two new lines. Similarly, use Create Corner to close the gap between the offset lines and the baseline such that you get a closed triangle at the bottom. Use the Trim Away tool to eliminate all extra segments of the triangles so only three distinct triangles are left. Press S and click and drag a box around the three triangles. Start the Move tool and select Create Patterns from the options. Move the triangles up in the Z direction and set the spacing to 55.8 meters. The count should be 10. Press D on the keyboard to return to 3D mode. 
Expand the oil derrick in the model tree and select the surface. This will be our cutting profile to generate the shape of the truss. Select the Move tool and adjust its anchor location. Place it at the center point on the vertical construction line we created earlier. Hold Control and rotate the surface by 90 degrees about the center axis in either direction. Press S to exit the Move tool. Select one of the recently created surfaces from the model tree and click Pull. Select the Cut option and pull the surface through the entire tower. Repeat the process with the second surface. Now the base of the oil derrick is completed. For convenience, we will import the top portion of the derrick to complete the shape. The process to build it is roughly the same as the lower part, just on a set of inclined planes. Now, let's load the top portion of the oil derrick into the design. Go to the File menu and click on Insert Geometry, then open Oil Derrick Top.dsco. Press S on the keyboard to activate the Select tool. Select the Oil Derrick Top component from the model tree and start the Move tool. Position the Move tool on the bottom surface of the Derrick Top component. Then move the piece vertically using the Up To option and select one of the upper surfaces on the Oil Derrick component. Ensure that the alignment is correct. Then activate the Combine tool. Holding the Control key, click both bodies to merge them. Right click on the topmost component in the model tree and select Delete Empty Components. This completes the oil derrick. Right click in the background and select Show All to display every component in the assembly. As additional steps, you can change the color of the different parts of the model from the Display tab in the Color menu. You can also add additional shapes to increase the level of detail on the oil platform. The course files also include a model of a crane, which you can import into the assembly as well. You can make a copy of it to have a second crane and improve the look of the model. Congratulations! You have successfully completed the design of an oil platform.